hello guys welcome back to inner calc video tutorials in this video tutorial we will go through a continuous steel beam we will design and analyze it so first you open inner calc and you can go to file and create a new project or you can go to quick calc I'll select quick calc and in beam I'll select steel beam once this window opens I'll make sure that my steel is 50 ksi and modulus of elasticity is 29,000 ksi so over here I'm working on continuous beam and then so if you see over here I have a 10 feet span and if I want to add one more span or two more spans I'll just select this plus or minus symbol I'll say add beam I'll say I'll check current span length bracing values and beam size properties and everything I'll select OK and then again I'll add one more and I'll select add beam if you want to delete you can select the delete span right of support and it will delete a beam but I need to I, I wanted to add one more beam so I'll say add beam select ok so as you see I have three spans of 10 feet in here now next thing the beam material is steel I'll make sure that I have auto calculate turned on and my design method will be LRFT next beam span data as you can see even here this span length is shown for different spans I'll say one is 10 feet the second one is 6 feet and the third one is 10 feet the deflection is provided over here um, for now I'll select a W section let's say 10 by 49 and then going to span loads I'll make sure on my sp I provide the loads on whichever span I want so on span 1 I'll provide a uniformly distributed load PLF and on my span 2 I'll provide a point load exactly at 3 feet I mean in the center it will be 5 caps and let's say 20 caps of live load going to span 3 I'll apply a trapezoidal load so I'll select the trapezoidal load box and in here you can in the load source you can enter where the load is coming from I'll make sure that I do not add beam weight beam weight I mean when you design in fee when you do a design of structure or a beam you, you need to make sure that you add a beam weight but when you are just simply designing it it's up to you but again I'll just make sure I add beam weight my starting dead load magnitude will be 0 0.2 kip per feet to 0 0.5 kip per feet I'll apply the same loads for live too this is just for representation the loads will vary the start location will be let's say some 2 feet to 7 feet I have applied loads I can add additional load in span 3 for example if I want to add a point load of 
two kips live and dead at a distance of six feet that way I can add it and if I go to span to let me add another load in span to and let it be moment so I'll say minus 12 and over here minus 50 at a distance of 3 feet so once you are done with the loads you can go to diagram or a 3d sketch in here you will make sure that bracing box is turned off and you can see the loads being applied the moment and the point load and trapezoidal load and again point load so as you see we have already selected auto calculate over here it's making sure it's showing us that the beam that we selected works for this so 0 0.364 is fine the ratio bending stress ratio should be less than 1 in order for it to pass so I'll go to beam span data I'll select little less of 1 and in 2 I'll select little bigger one and in 3 I'll select again a little lesser one it's still passing so you can change it that way whichever the way you want or else if you want an economical best method you can just go over here and say design and select W type so you need to make sure that maximum stress ratio is 1 and these are the deflection units and depth class from 0 to 60 Se you can select start design and it will show you a window saying which member is the best working so as you see this W12 by 19 which is low in weight and the bending stress ratio is less than 1 even shear stress ratio the deflection is within the limits so you can see your deflections over here but this is the lowest weight and the economical beam that will work if you go as per bending ratio this will be the lowest one even for the shear ratio, live load deflection ratio total deflection ratio coming to the depth this one but we'll go with weight and we'll select it and everything will be changed to W12 by 19 you can even see it in the drawing if you want the sketch shows W12 by 19, W12 by 19, W12 by 19 and um, in calculations you can find support reactions over here these are the live load support reactions and dead load support reactions of four supports next wind shear deflection summary and here so uh, if you go to load combinations you can select whichever combination you want to run or not 
I mean if you select this first one yes and the second one no you need to double click it and even this one so that way your combinations get reduced and it doesn't run for all the combinations but it runs only for the combinations you want even you can uh, change the factors So just like that we have only one combination and our reactions to it that we need to make sure that even in the reaction combinations we turn all of those to a no and we only select yes which we, whichever we wanted to run even in deflection combinations so this is the way how you design an analysis a steel continuous beam you can uh, do, you can either select on your own or you can ask the software to do it for you Th thank you for watching the video please subscribe